something happened to me that I felt like I should share. But when I was doing a shadow bound and there was a day that I was trying to pack and do a road trip and I read an email too fast and thought that the time had changed to 2.30 when my time for my character was 2 and I showed up what I thought was 15 minutes early but it was actually 15 minutes late and I saw that people didn't like it and I didn't know why and later I figured out that I had like gotten the times wrong honest mistake would never have done that on purpose letting down like a crew of people that becomes family and and working on a project I took it really really hard and I felt bad about it for about three days all because like I read something too fast and should have printed it out and she should have been more careful with the information but trying to do too many things at once I just like misinterpreted it but something that I'm seeing a lot now is that you know a lot of times a problem can happen because of doing something too fast it's something that's happened with me so many different times you know and, and like I should know better by now like don't do certain things too fast but like I think I'm doing it right at the time you know so I think that there's you know there's something to that that there's a lot of manic moments with Asperger's with mine and there's a lot of obsessive moments like when my head wants to beat me up about something it'll do it bad like for a long time and you know, in this case it's like my head wouldn't let it go for three days like over and over and over and you know I still think about it sometimes but you know I don't want to let people down and I talked to a counselor about it and she told me that um I needed to consider an anti-anxiety medication and then it might really help me. And then I went to my doctor and I got one. And when I have bad, like, thoughts repeat like that, I think it really helps, like, mellow them out. You know, it helps me to concentrate taking Adderall and my anti-anxiety helps me with my... Just when I have, like, repeating bad thoughts over and over. <laughs> and I think that with having Asperger's symptoms, our brain is, like, our own worst enemy sometimes they we get sometimes medication can really really help put us on the right track you know and I did once take it at like 8 p.m. and I like fell asleep this long ride home <laughs> I'm not supposed to take it that late that was bad but they tell you not to take it too late because it it'll put you to sleep it'll make you really sleepy anyway I'm not sure what time you're not supposed to take it after I probably won't take mine past 6 p.m. But one thing that I'm learning as I'm older now is just to take certain things slow and be careful about certain things. You know, and I'm think better about not beating myself up about stuff so much when I get all obsessive. But something as I'm older that's really coming into form is just you know, being manic at certain times and obsessive at certain times. And and just anxious and anxiety but in, in like a different form it's not like social anxiety like when I was younger it's more like well, things get stuck in my head <laughs> it's something that I deal with but certain things can help a lot talking and out with people help too <laughs>